Good morning, Wildings. We're back for another intuitive tarot card reading. And today we're going to ask Spirit, what does your person want? What are they daydreaming about for the future with you guys? Let's see what Spirit has to say about that. So if you're interested, stick around for the video. Hey Wildings, welcome to your video regarding what your person is wanting or daydreaming or manifesting with you. Um, so if you want to see what Spirit has to say in regards to um, what's out there to channel from your person, go ahead and use your intuition to pick a pile um, and wherever your intuition is sending you, I will see you there soon. Hey there, Pile One. Welcome to your reading for what your person is currently daydreaming or wanting with you. Um, if that's something that um, resonates with you right now, if that's something that you're curious about, stick around. Um, this is a general reading, so as always, use your intuition regarding which messages are for you, which ones are not, um, and where there's better interpretations around meaning to your situation. Um, so I'm just checking the overall themes of your person's, um, what they're wanting with you um, using this astrology deck. So the cards that came out were um, Gemini energy, which is um, obviously an air sign. Um, and it has to do with um, the mind, the intelligence. Um, and we also have void, of course, moon um which generally indicates that like a feeling of something being missing but let's use this traditional tarot to find out a bit more <clears throat> spirit what is pile one's person wanting What is Pile One's person wanting, please? Okay, this is this is good so far. What is Pile One's person wanting, please, Spirit? What is Pile One's person wanting? We clarify the high priestess, please. We clarify the two of cups, please. We clarify. Thank you. We clarify the ten of cups. We clarify the ten of pentacles. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> pile one, what I'm seeing straight away is um, potentially this person, um, like definitely wanting to be with, be with you in some sort of connection with you. Um, the two of cups is like universally known as like a partnership attraction, but also like twin flame or soulmate card. <clears throat> and then this coming out with it, um, the wheel of fortune sometimes indicates karma, but in this case definitely indicates destiny. Um, so this person definitely wants to fulfill like um, their desire um, and intuition of their destiny when it comes to you and this partnership. Like they definitely feel like you guys are destined to end up together um, and that you guys are like made for each other. Um, I think where your person is potentially concerned um, with this high priestess coming up out upside down is... Um, Maybe in the past, like, um, you've kind of, like, maybe taken too much of their shit. And that's what they're really con concerned about in terms of having a future with you. Um, the, um, and, like, as in the timing of that future, like, they definitely want the future um, with you. But they're just, like, not sure if they can make it happen. Because potentially in the past, like, you've en enabled them a little bit when it comes to, like, potentially being, like, super soft and kind with them. Like at every turn, even when they're being like kind of a dick. Um, and they're worried that like, 
you don't have enough boundaries to actually be with them right now. Um, so the High Priestess is like definitely divine feminine energy, but she's also like, um, like can't be fucked with. Like she's so standing in her power and so um, like has like boundaries of steel. And that's not to say that you're not that person, Pile One, but um, definitely how your person is interpreting you right now, probably based on the past rather than um, the present, is... Um, the seniors, like, you were too kind to them, um, and they're worried that they're going to end up hurting you because, like, whatever you, whatever they bring to the connection, you always met them with kindness, and maybe they have this, like, underlying fear that, um, they don't actually deserve your kindness or, like, underlying story that they don't actually deserve you to be, like, deserve kindness from you, um, or compassion from you. Um, so I think potentially part one, like this has actually more to do with them than you in terms of, um, this conflict. Like, it seems like, um, they have a bit of work around, like, actually allowing themselves to be cared for, um, and like not expecting people to be unkind to them. Like, I, I'm getting like that they expect people to be way less compassionate and kind to them. Um, than what you were and I think that really threw them for a loop <clears throat> like they saw you as this constantly kind um, calm intuitive um, and compassionate kind of queen and um, I think potentially they're worried that if if you don't have harsh boundaries with them they're just gonna like not know how to treat you and this is like more of a fear like I think what I'm getting is like actually the two of you uh, have this together a lot more now, especially, especially after the separation that you guys have had. Like I think your boundaries are much more aligned with this high priestess energy. And I think they actually can accept a lot more of this like unconditional love and support. Um, but I think that's definitely something that's playing on their mind um, in terms of like wanting a future with you, but also being really concerned about um, them messing it up again because I feel like they potentially feel like they messed it up in the past by like taking your kindness for granted um, and they don't want to do that again I don't I actually don't think that they will definitely not intentionally but um, like that's really what they're worried about in this connection but they know that this connection brings them so much alignment and happiness um, and they really want a new, um, really want a new start with this connection, probably soon. Um, the 10 in numerology represents one, um, which is new, and then zero is cycle. So it seems like they're looking for a new start in terms of like alignment and happiness with you. But yeah, definitely what's holding them back is that they, they're worried that they haven't made the improvement in this kind of like conflict that you guys had as um as much as you deserve i think like their worry is um like i think they're being over worried like over anxious um especially with this tower in reverse it seems like they probably have overcome a lot um and like probably have their um shit together a lot better than what they think like i think like, I'm getting kind of a very um, self-doubting, self-deprecating, like, tendency from this person. Um, but I think they're a lot stronger than what they realize um, and a lot more capable of, like, creating this, like, alignment and happiness with you than potentially what they fear. Um, I, I think some of the fear is coming from their doubts around, um, like, being a good provider for you. <clears throat> so the Ten of Pentacles can be to do with like material wealth uh, and success and happy, like um, abundance. Um, so it seems like they're kind of like, maybe like it was their feeling of lack when it came to maybe their career or like their finances or their possessions or something that was kind of like making them feel like you were too good for them, Pile One. And maybe that was like exacerbating this problem a little bit, like kind of like their own doubt and insecurity. Um, that's an, around like them as a provider was like, 
it was kind of like exacerbating their problems in terms of insecurity. So they'll probably like seeing pretty much every situation a little bit distorted. Um, and yeah, I think they definitely have had a lot to work out in order to bring about this um, connection that they really want. They definitely daydream about a life with you, a really happy life with you. Um, but they're also just like, I think what, what they're wanting is for them to be able to create this life with you without these like, um, like anxieties and just like, um, like personal stresses. Like that's kind of like mainly what's holding them back from making this happen at the moment. But they definitely, 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 definitely want it. They want it. Do we have anything else for Pile 1, please, Spirit, in regards to this connection? <clears throat> so the Page of Pentacles is definitely a manifesting card. I think this person is definitely manifesting you. Um, and it seems like they really, really, really want to um, take responsibility for their past actions. Um and end this separation that you've got going on so i'm definitely getting from them at least that they feel like a lot of what went down in your connection probably the first time like i'm getting like a heavy we're together separated kind of vibe from this spread i think they definitely blame their issues on why this like didn't happen the first time around like it's they definitely feel like that's on them um and that's not to say that is 100% on them, like it usually takes two to tango, but pile one, they're definitely taking responsibility for their past um, and manifesting like a different future. Um, they definitely want to end this separation, um, but they definitely also want to come back to you different. Like that's what I'm getting. Like they want to come back to you so different so that you have the best shot possible at like, um, restarting this connection and creating all that alignment and happiness that they know is really possible in this connection. <clears throat> so we have the Queen of Swords. I think in the past maybe they didn't actually see the truth of this connection the first time around. Like I think maybe they were so caught up in their stuff that they just um, didn't believe this connection to be what it actually was. Um, and I don't think they saw you for who you really are either. Like, um, and I think that has to do with like their insecurities. Like they, pot they potentially put you on a pedestal and then like went into self-sabotage mode. Um, but yeah, your, your person, like it, what they want, what I'm getting the most from them is they want to come back just so different because they're really taking on like all of the burden of like what happened the first time around um like for themselves um and i think like they're potentially like maybe not seeing how things were like there were two sides to the story is what i'm getting from this gemini card like there was always two sides of the story there was always stuff on your side and stuff on their side um but i don't think they're really like getting that like right now i think they will um see both sides a little bit clearer um, once they can kind of like love themselves in some of this insecurity around like receiving compassion from other people and also like um, their own ability to provide for sure like as that sorts itself out um, I think your person will be able to see both sides of this story clearly because this queen of swords in reverse is definitely indicating that they're not seeing things clearly right now um, but I think that's to, um, like, I think that's like the intent potentially of the universe. Like, I think the universe is really asking them to really look at their shit and not really worry so much about your stuff, pile one, because it's important that they just like take full responsibility for their stuff first and just like worry about how they were showing up before they worry about how you were showing up. Like, it's really important that they get their ducks in a row in terms of that, all that. Do you have any oracles for pile one, please? 
Do we have any articles for pile one? <clears throat> okay, beauty. So they definitely see you as so beautiful. Maybe they see you as like physically out of their league um, just because you're so gorgeous and just like so their type. Like you're exactly their type is what I'm getting. <clears throat> So we've got a bit here. Um, so it's time to release negativity. Expect a powerful change. Show the world the real you. I think this is a lot to do with clearing the illusions that you might have around each other and especially this person might have around you. A new start is coming um, and balancing spirituality and practicality. So those are your oracles pile one. Um, let's get some love oracles as well. <clears throat> I definitely think that this person um, has been doing a lot of shadow work and is now um, kind of like really on the verge of a new change. So new moon is like another like cardinal new energy. Um, I think they're about to shift into this cycle. Um, and when they shift into this cycle, they're going to be capable of a new start with you um, and like a really full connection. Like it's pretty much all new moon and full moon energy here. Um, and it's a very, um, so Pisces and Scorpio are both obviously water signs, Aquarius is an air sign, but it's very spiritual. So this is all kind of like very spiritual vibey kind of, um, energy. So it's definitely like a, um, like it's, it's a definitely a very spiritual connection. You can probably feel each other energetically, like really strong. Um, <clears throat> and there's just like so much potential for this connection. Um, when this like shift happens from this person doing their um shadow work do we have any more love oracles for the power one please any more love oracles for power one I think um, potentially a lot of the um, reason why this person saw this connection is so unbalanced was like they have a lot of like self-criticism and negative self-talk um, that they need to let go of. Like they just need to let go of like the negative narrative that they have in their mind and see that you two are like much more um, divinely matched than maybe what they think. Like they definitely, I'm getting like a lot of low self-esteem from this person. <clears throat> Um, so there might be like a talking phase coming with you two. Um, definitely like, um, like just like kind of probably like an easing into reconnecting that's like not, um, super intense. I think this person potentially when they come back, they might still have some of those, that negative self-talk and self-criticism to work through. Um, so I think the, um, action that they will take will probably be like super gentle towards you um because they are like super tentative but they definitely d do want to talk to you um and they want to let you know that they've been healing their heart um and they have been trying to like free themselves from all their toxic patterns of the past like they've been really working really hard um because they want a future with you and they know that if they um continue the way that they've been going <clears throat> they um they won't um they won't be able to like have a connection with you because they're just going to self-sabotage it and just um not show up the way that you deserve but they definitely do just need a little bit more time um I think they just need this like kind of shift to happen um and it's just like not definitely not there yet Sorry, pile one, my camera cut out. Um, but yeah, your person's definitely not there quite yet. Um, they still are um, exhibiting some of these runner tendencies. In your case, I think it's definitely fit, like running from a place of like overwhelm and not feeling enough. Um, so it's definitely not running from a place of like not wanting to be with you. Um, but like... This card definitely has fear of intimacy and listening to the ego, and that is true, but also sometimes running is um, a form of divine protection um, because sometimes if people who have these kind of feelings stay in a connection with someone, they can actually do so much damage that the connection never has hope of a new start. 
Um, and so sometimes while running usually is playing into like ego and fear of intimacy, it's also sometimes a form of divine protection. And so I think it's really important that your person stops running when they're ready to stop running. But regardless, like they're still missing you. They're looking at your photos. Um, they're wanting to make new memories with you and they're wanting to offer like a really stable, um, um, forever kind of commitment and union when they do come back when this person comes back like they're coming back forever um they're coming back for good they're coming back um to make a lasting commitment to you um and so they might initiate very um sensitively and like um gently but what they really really want and what they see for the future with you is definitely a forever thing but they want to come back really clear and different um, and like way more authentic. But let's get a quick affirmation for you, pile one, to help you get through this time until your person comes back with this beautiful offer of an engagement ring. Can we get a affirmation for pile one, please? We get an affirmation for power one. We get an affirmation for power one, please. myself to rest as I reap the benefits of all my hard work. Pile one, I think um, Spirit's just asking you to be as patient as possible. Allow this like a little bit more time thing to happen for your person um, because you will reap the benefit of that work of um, like working on your own, um, your own stuff while this person is working on theirs. Um, whatever it is, um, that you're working on concentrate on that and let your person concentrate on their work um, and you will both reap the benefits of all your hard work i know it's hard because you're missing each other um and you obviously care very deeply about each other and definitely both seem to want um like a beautiful life together in the future like you both see your, each other as end game um but right now it's it's really time to like focus on your own stuff um so that when you do reunite like It'll be putting your connection in the best um, position possible in order to like manifest a new future um, and all that beautiful like love that this person really sees with you. Um, but I think I'm going to leave that there, pile one. I hope you got everything out of this reading that you really needed to. Um, if, if you made it all the way through, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, and I will see you on this channel again very, very soon. Hey there, pile two. Welcome to your reading about what your person is wanting or daydreaming about for you or with you. Um, this is going to be a general reading regarding what they're wanting. Um, so please use your intuition and discernment around um, what messages are few, which ones are not few, um, and which messages may have better interpretations for your situation. But we're first just going to clarify the general themes of what this person is wanting or dreaming about right now using this astrology deck. So let's see what spirit has to say about pile two's person. What are they daydreaming? <clears throat> so we have blessings. And Saturn return. So the Saturn return usually has a lot to do with like um, responsibility. Like um, before we're 27, before our Saturn return, we can pretty much do whatever we want. Like we have freedom um, as far as astrology is concerned. But then when we turn 28, uh, 27, sorry, around the time of our Saturn return, that's when we um, usually are called to live our truth and also um, like live out our responsibility 
on this planet. And it's not responsibilities just like pay your bills and blah, 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 blah. It's like your responsibility in terms of like your life purpose um, or just like your responsibility to be your most authentic and true self um, and to like really follow your path. Like before 27, you can have pretty much whatever experiences you want. But after 27, you really get called to um, like go, like follow your path, so to speak. Um, so we have like kind of responsibility and blessings here from your person in regards to what they're wanting. But we'll use this traditional tarot to get a little bit more um, clarity around what it is exactly that your person is wanting. Quickly, so the pile choose person, what they're wanting. Quickly, so the pile choose person, what they're wanting. Quickly, so the pile choose person, what they're wanting. Quickly, so the pile choose person, what they're wanting. please have what part to this person is wanting <clears throat> we clarify the king of swords please we clarify thank you we clarify the thank you we also clarify the knight of pentacles And the Nine of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting straight away, Pile 2, is that um, potentially in the past, this connection wasn't, wasn't equal um, because this person had a lot of karma to um, work out and it was really blocking the blessings that you two... Um, could have had together there's a lot of um like isolation and separation energy here with this ten of wands eight of wands hermit card like just a lot of separation i'd be very very surprised if you're in connection with this person at the moment or communicating in any way like it definitely feels like heavily heavily isolated um but this person it seems is like at the moment really working on being more responsible for themselves and more responsible for their life especially um when it comes to like their um like emotional intelligence and just like their maturity in that regard i'm getting that this person is like um quite mature in terms of their intellect and um in this separation they've definitely grown in their like intelligence and courage um and kind of like i would say more assertive um yang energy um but this person's always kind of like been falling behind when it comes to their like um I would say more emotional availability rather than emotionally intelligence. Like, I think they're not, not intelligent, but they're definitely not available. Um, like, I think this karma has blocked them from really being emotionally available in connection with people. Um, and so that like, they're just kind of emotionally shut down, even though they like do have the capacity for that intelligence. They're just, they just in the past haven't been using it. And so they're really seeing this isolation time as um, like necessary for them to just like become more emotionally available because what they want to give you is definitely a lot more emotional availability. Like they want to be able to like shower you in love and um, affection and things. But in the past, they just weren't able to um, because they were kind of like avoiding the responsibility of doing their karma work um, and their trauma work to make themselves um, like more open to all that stuff. Um, but yeah, right now they're definitely, what they're wanting is definitely to um, become much more responsible for themselves, especially in regards to this like healing work and shadow work that they need to do. I'm getting that this person is like really hard working um, and like tries really hard in their life. Um, and they're gonna bring that energy to this um, trauma work for sure. Um, so that they can have like a um, much more blessed connection with you because um, 
they know that if they don't do this trauma work and if they don't um, become more emotionally available, like you guys will never experience the fullness of what your connection could be. Um, I think like potentially like they've, um, they've either fallen off the bandwagon a bit and or they feel like they can only do this hard work in isolation. Like for whatever reason, they're just actually really not comfortable doing this work in partnership with you, even though like that's possible, like they just don't see it. Um, so yeah, they're really not in a place to like manifest this connection just yet. Um, like they're really working on themselves. Um, but spirit, do we have, um, aside from wanting to be more responsible and do trauma, doing trauma work, do we have any more about what pile two's person wants in regards to this connection? Okay. So this person definitely desires you a lot. Um, but I think in the past, maybe it's been like addictive, like this death card in reverse can indicate like, um, that kind of like hedonistic addictive desire. And I think that potentially had a bit to do with this trauma work that they hadn't completed. Um, like they're just were like so emotionally disempowered. Um, so they want to be able to desire you from a place of like more fullness in themselves rather than like kind of like a feeling of lack. Like what I'm getting from this person is at the moment, they're really not focused on much to do with the physical um they're really focused on um like how to be a better partner for you like that's what they're really wanting I'm, I'm thinking that maybe this separation is fairly new um and they're just kind of like everything's clicking for them in terms of like what they need to do to um be able to um like have this connection work in the future um so they're definitely taking responsibility for a lot of their actions. Um, and they think that, um, like they think that like you were so passionate and courageous in this connection, um, and so willing to put yourself kind of on the line and they want to be able to do the same for you in return because, um, like, yeah, this 10 is indicating they want to start a new cycle, like one new zero cycle, a new cycle where they're, um, much better at doing, um, like returning the, um, passion and courage that you gave them. Um, and they're getting like, definitely like more mentally courageous, but they're just like in the physical, not as courageous. Like the ones is a fire suit. And so like, I think they see you as like really going after what you want in the physical. Um, and yeah, they, they want to be able to match that energy. Um, because they definitely haven't been able to in the past. Um, and so like they, they want to be able to come to you. They want to be able to move towards you. Um, but when they feel ready, like, I think they're still feeling a little bit stuck. So they're not actually ready to move towards you yet pile two. Um, cause they've still just got some stuff to work out for themselves. Um, <sighs> I definitely think this separation is maybe, yeah, a little bit new, a little bit fresh. Um, and yeah, they definitely just have a lot to work out. Um, but mostly what they're wanting is just like a much better and more equal connection with you. Like that's the main thing that they want. <clears throat> I think maybe in the past they, um, they didn't know how to ask for help. Like they were just um, so emotionally unavailable. Um, and they didn't know how to ask for, um, assistance when they needed it, um, or like communicate when something wasn't going well for them in this connection. Um, and so they really see like all of those tendencies of themselves as like real blocks to, um, to experiencing like lots of love and blessings with you, um. But yeah, they're definitely like what they want right now is to take responsibility for all that healing and to kind of like knuckle down and get into it. Like it's definitely important that they um, do that <clears throat> or at least they're seeing that it's important for them to do that. Sorry, part one, my um, space is starting to run out on my camera. So I have to keep stopping and starting to make sure that um, we don't miss any of our reading. 
Um, but we're just going to get some more oracles regarding your connection. So definitely your person is focusing on being um, more emotionally available. That's what they want. They want to be more emotionally available to you and be a better partner to you. And that is honestly it's so sweet. <coughs> okay. So we have attraction. They're obviously um, like super, super, super attracted to you. There's a lot of faith that this connection um, could be really great if they can kind of get their shit together. Like if they can grow into it, they know this, um, this connection will be like, um, will bring them so much. Um, it was definitely very unexpected. They didn't expect this um, connection, um, but I think they're definitely going through like, um, like I'd say this person is definitely more of a divine masculine and they're definitely going through a huge upgrade. Um, in terms of the divine masculine, like um, he, she, or they, whoever they are, you can have masculine polarity and still be any gender. Like they're definitely um, stepping into this in its fullness because you can't cannot be masculine without being um, emotionally available. And they're, and they're getting that. They're balancing their masculine a lot better so that it's um, kind of like more aligned with divine masculinity rather than like kind of toxic masculinity. Um, and they're stepping into this kind of like new age of purity and wisdom for sure. Like there's definitely so, um, so many, so much happening for this person in regards to this connection. <coughs> like it's definitely bringing them a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I think they've potentially identified that it was their own pride that was kind of let it, making them emotionally un, unavailable and kind of acting as a roadblock. Um, but um, they're very close to the end of um, of this kind of like tough cycle where they were just like really um, not stepping into their fullness and, and they're very close to actually um, like kind of they're very close to like amping up um, their potential in terms of this connection like you don't have to be perfect to um, but you just need to be aware. And I think this person's like getting to the point where they're aware enough and kind of like actively working on enough of their stuff um, that actually they're like a lot closer than um, what they think they are to um, like kind of like the new phase of their, um, of their emotional availability and like more pure masculine energy. Um, we also have I Like You and Wedding Rings. So definitely they want, um, they want to date you. They um, they see like a romance blooming between the two of you for sure. And what they want definitely is wedding rings. They want um, they want to get married. They want a union with you for sure, for sure. Like they they definitely see this as end game. But let's see if there are any affirmations for you, pile two, when it comes to this connection. Are any affirmations for part two? <clears throat> so we have, I allow myself to rest and I reap the benefits of, of all my hard work. I think this card's really reminding you just to like chill for a hot minute. Um, pile two, while this person kind of like sorts a whole bunch of stuff out. Like I'm pretty sure like this person's like going through a huge awakening right now. Like this is like heavy, heavy, heavy awakening energy. And I think maybe that's why like they really haven't, they haven't been wanting or asking for anything other than like a really pure experience in um, themselves, like being emotionally available for themselves and in their divine masculine, as well as for you. Like, I think it's for you, but it's also for them. Um, and I think the two of you are going to reap the benefits of all that hard work. Um, but yeah, just like, they're not that far from kind of like getting their shit together enough. So, um, Really just let them do their thing. Um, let them kind of let go of that pride and let go of kind of like toxic masculinity and come back into balance. Um, let them take responsibility for their actions and like move towards um, kind of like a more blessed and awakened state. Um, and you guys will reap um, the benefits of all this hard work, but kind of like let this period just be that like hard work for them and just try and like allow yourself to 
kind of rest through it as much as possible. Like I'm getting that like maybe you were quite awakened when you met this person, pile two, and essentially they're catching up. So um, allow yourself to just um, chill while they're doing all this work um, because there's a lot of great things um, coming for you and that they want with you. Um, you just need to kind of like let things play out. Um, so really rest and let things play out. And I promise you that um, you'll reap the benefit um, at the end. But I think I'm going to leave that here, pile two. Um, I hope you got everything out of this reading that you needed to. Um, and if you made it all the way through, thank you so much. Um, I hope to see you back on this channel again soon. Um, so please like, comment and subscribe to see more of me on your page. Hey there, pile three. Welcome to your reading for what your person is currently wanting or daydreaming about um, in terms of where this connection is heading. Um, I'm first just going to check what the general themes of their desires are using this astrology deck. Um, as always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. <clears throat> this is a general reading, so there'll be messages here for specific people. Um, and there also may be better interpretations of some of the cards to fit your situation. So practicing using your intuition and discernment <clears throat> around those messages. Spirit, can we please get the general themes of what Pile 3's person is wanting from this connection? Can we get the general themes of what Pile 3's person is wanting? So we have the Chiron placement, which is a healing card. <clears throat> um, our Chiron placement indicates where our biggest wound is, um, where our biggest opportunity for healing is, and then where our biggest opportunity to heal others is once we've done our own healing. <clears throat> okay. So we've got a fair bit here, pile um, three. Um, so we've obviously got the Chiron healing, we've got the fire element of desire, but also the earth element of stability. This in itself can indicate a lot of balance, um, the earth element being quite feminine and the fire element being quite masculine. Um, and we also have Gemini energy, which is like an air energy that has to do with like seeing both sides of the story. It also has to do with the intellect and how we're showing up in the world. Um, so yeah, we've got like quite a bit for what your person is desiring, but let's get more specific messages using this traditional tarot. Okay, let's get um, Pile Three's person's desires. <clears throat> We get pile three's person's desires, please. Pile three's person's desires. Can we get pile three's person's desire? Can we get pile three's person's desires. Can we get pile three's person's desire. Ooh, lots of positive cards here so far. Please clarify this Queen of Nine of Cups, please. We clarify the Queen and Nine of Cups. We <clears throat> clarify. We also clarify the Knight of Pentacles. And the others card, please. Okay, so it seems like the way this person saw you in the connection the first time around, because I'm getting heavy separation energy from this um, deck, but also kind of like maybe close to reunion energy. Um, this person definitely saw at you as going through a lot the first time in this connection. Um, 
and and especially feeling a lot of like doubt anxiety um and like just I think contributing way more to the relationship than what was equal or valid or you know whatever um and this person definitely saw their actions as being what got in the way of you kind of like showing up in this connection in your fullness um and what they want for you is um they they don't want you to ever be anxious or doubtful or unsure of their feelings for you which I think they feel like they made you feel in the past um they want you to be really sure in this connection and like feel real um a real sense of like stability and security in it um which potentially you haven't in the past they do want a new um to begin a new cycle of love with you like to have that experience of new love and um and uh like kind of start again energy but this time they want it to be way more equal and balanced and just like calm like they don't want all this stuff to keep coming up with you guys that um potentially came up in the past um and like they definitely um are envisioning a lot of um a lot for you guys especially to do with you guys reuniting and like having this life together like I, I see that they're spending a lot of time imagining the life that they can live with you as like lovers um and they're definitely very committed to making that happen but they're definitely not ready to um make that happen in the physical yet um because they still have a lot of work to do um personally on their own energy because they feel like they're not really showing up um as the kind of like leadership energy that they want because they've got some healing to do when it comes to connections for sure um can we have a little bit more about what this person is envisioning for you guys for the future we have a little more about what this person is envisioning for you <coughs> Um, so sixes in, um, in tarot often like are associated with six, 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 the devil's number of excess. Um, so it seems like this person is maybe like desiring, um, a lot of, um, a lot of like abundance, um, in this connection when it comes to like love, when it comes to passion, when it comes to like emotion and all that sort of stuff but I am getting like a heavy sense that um they don't feel ready to like kind of fulfill this yet like what I'm getting from this person is like everything that they want from this connection feels kind of far away um because they're still essentially like doing a lot of work and overcoming a lot of lack in themselves at this stage they definitely like desire being with you though they definitely desire um giving you a lot of stability but they know they have a lot of healing to do and they want to change how they show up in the world um before they um before they get into partnership with you so this is pretty much you've got like all the like heavy 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 partnership and love cards on the um like on the spread the thing is like there's definitely a resistance to it right now like this is definitely a newness and this is like a coming in like they're envisioning like you guys as being end game and like see you as probably divine counterparts but they're definitely not ready yet because they know that they need some work they need know they need to do some healing for sure so overall i'm definitely getting a lot of um like wanting security stability wanting to be able to like openly um express their own desires for you wanting to be able to be in partnership from a place of like equality um having healed enough of their stuff to kind of like really be your um be your match and be your partner because i think at this stage they just don't see them as like quite equal to you in terms of like being able to give you the partnership that they deserve like Gemini can be like heavy partner energy because it's obviously that like kind of two sides of the coin energy there's definitely a lot of like divine counterpart energy here um and it seems like your person is definitely wanting um yeah this this person has pure intentions for your um partnership together they're definitely not like super focused on anything like 
financial like they're not really focused on anything that they have to gain at the moment they're really focused on what they have to give and um i think they're really focused on what they have to give you and what their intentions are for you are super pure um and what they're also wanting is um a future that's for the highest good of you all i think this person potentially in the past maybe has gone backwards and forwards in terms of like even wondering if they're even like the person who's intended for your higher good but i think maybe they've connected to um their heart and they know that no one will love you like they will because they like all they want is your happiness um and they just want to give you like so much is what i'm getting like all of their desires center around giving you everything that they think you deserve Let's see if there's any more oracles for you. Any more oracles regarding Pile 3's person and their desire. <clears throat> okay. I, like, what I'm getting from this card... Like, as soon as I saw it, like, my eyes immediately went to this desire card. Like, I think this person, especially in the physical, really, really wants you. Like, if you guys are in separation, which I think you probably are right now, just based on how the cards came out. Like, they are so hungry for this connection to, like, restart. Um, and they're pretty much having to exercise all the willpower they have um, to kind of, like, stay away and do what they need to do in order to um come back a better partner for you like this there's, there's so there's so much desire for this connection especially in the physical like I'm, I'm getting kind of like two sides of the story in terms of like one really intense physical desire for you um and then another like really intense desire for like generosity in terms of like offering you security and stability both in like a, a physical sense but also an emotional sense um and also i guess an intellectual sense like this is definitely very well rounded like they want to be your equal like in all senses of the word um and like protect you any more oracles please whoops for pile three so we also have patience and self-love like i think this person's potentially doing a lot around um their own self-love but they also really 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 want you to be as empowered as possible in your self-love for yourself um and and i think they're like um potentially like maybe upset with themselves that maybe they may have impacted your own ability to love yourself um based on how they showed up to this relationship the first time around um they see themselves as having potentially done damage like to your um, self-worth and self-esteem um, because essentially they weren't ready. Um, and so that's why they are having to exercise so much patience and resilience to kind of stay away right now, even though their desire is really strong um, because they don't want to keep hurting you and they never want to hurt you again. Not, not in the way that they did um, previously um, at the very least. So they're definitely asking you to be patient and wait it out. Um, but I'm also getting like that their intentions are so pure that if you did find someone um, who made them as happy as they did or happier um, or could even treat you better or give you more, like they would be just happy to see you happy. Like, <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, they definitely definitely want to bring you a new romantic cycle um i think that they're wanting that as soon as possible with you like they're definitely wanting a new start with you um and they want to show you who they can really be as a lover like i think the first time around they never actually got to show you who they could really be um because they were just like caught up with their own stuff and like having not done their own healing um and so this time when this new cycle begins, they want to show you what real love can mean and what love from them can really mean. Because, like, you never actually got to see that from them. And they definitely want to show you that. Okay. 
see if there's any more love oracles for you, Pile 3, in regards to what your person wants and desires. Okay, they definitely feel like they did you dirty um, and that they were never really showing you their true um, true feelings, but they, like, honestly have been so, like, addicted to you from the past. Um, and honestly, they would so understand if you did move on, but they just want you to be happy, like, um, and do what you got to do to make yourself happy. Um, I think they feel, yeah, very guilty about, um, how they treated you in the past. Definitely very addicted to you physically is what I'm getting. Just a lot of that. Um, and just like not really showing you how they felt. And like they definitely, definitely, definitely regret that because they were so full of unconditional love um, the whole time. Um, even if they didn't know how to show it. <clears throat> and yeah, this separation is definitely um, making them sad. It's making them miss you. They're just like thinking about you all the time. Um, and definitely wanting to reunite with you like as quickly as possible but yeah very aware that they um can't rush it um and that they want to come back to you like whole um or like, not whole but just like ready like they're already whole and complete but just like ready and not um in a place where they're gonna do any more damage for sure um I think I'm getting that they also want to end this separation probably as quickly as possible because they do see you as soulmates, um, but they definitely have some um, definitely have some work to do in terms of like transcending some of their old like hurt and pain and um, healing. Um, they're definitely doing that work though. Um, that's what I'm getting, <clears throat> um, and they definitely want to leave the past in the past um, and celebrate new beginnings with you. Um, they definitely never want to treat you how they treated you the first time ever again, for sure. Um, but let's see if there are any affirmations for you to get you through this time. Pile three, any affirmations for pile three? Um, so we have, I accept and release everything in my life that is beyond my power to change. Um, I think this might have to do with this connection, like this person's like, busy being working on their own stuff right now um and it's definitely time for you to accept and release everything that's beyond your um power to change like trust that um this soulmates and ascending like energy is kind of like in the hands of god now like so really let go and let god when it comes to this connection like um you've really got to trust divine timing and trust the plan um and like let it all pan out just enjoy um, your life as much as you can right now and like reconnect with this like self-love. Um, know that your person unconditionally loves you, but yeah, now's the time to like really focus on you um, and release everything that's going on in this connection that's beyond your power to change. Um, and you can do that in whatever way sees fit. you see fit. Like if I'm um, kind of having the connection affirmed from like readings like this like helps you on that path of like self-love and just like releasing it like that's so fine like as long as you're kind of like not addicted to it um but yeah just whatever you need to do to like accept and release the situation as much as you can right now while this is kind of like out of your hands just trust that it's in um the universe's hands and it's doing its absolute best to both heal and ascend both of you um, and honor this soulmate connection that you both have in whatever way it needs to be honored um, but i think i'm going to leave that here pile three um, if you made it all the way through this reading thank you so much i appreciate it um, and i hope to see you back on this channel again very soon um, so like comment and subscribe to make that happen that's all I have for you today as far as intuitive tarot card readings go, but I'll be doing plenty more of those on this channel. So if you would like to hang around for that, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you back on this channel very, very soon. Mm -hmm.